Today, we're focusing on transfers as we fly from London Heathrow to Athens with a stopover at Frankfurt Airport, an airport known for its challenging transfer process with its vast size of passengers often face long walks and multiple security checks, making Frankfurt Airport one of the worst rated airports to fly to and from. I'm Lewis from London Place Spotting, and this is Transiting Through Europe's Worst Airport. How bad can it be? Before we get started, let me explain why I'm traveling today. Along with my family, I was traveling to Athens for my cousin's wedding. And when we booked the flights earlier in the year, prices to Athens were really expensive. Okay, the flight was in the beginning of the summer holidays, so we weren't too surprised about the price. But I managed to find a really good deal with Aegean Airlines, the main airline for Greece. It was an economy but included the use of bags and also had food on board. Perfect. That was until I noticed that the flight wasn't going out with Aegean. In fact, it was going out with their Star Alliance partner, Lufthansa. Oh, and it gets better because the outgoing flight was a stopover in Frankfurt with an hour window to make the next flight. That should be fine, right? Like most Star Alliance Airlines, our journey begins at Heathrow's Terminal 2, the Queen's Terminal. We checked in using the self-service bag drop-off with a little help from the staff on the ground. We made our way to the security and security was a breeze at Heathrow. Really friendly and in less than 4 minutes we were airside. Opened in 2014, Terminal 2 is the newest terminal at Heathrow Airport. After the old terminal was demolished in 2010, the new terminal replaced it along with part of the old Terminal 1 building and it celebrated its 10th year of construction. Along with T5, this is one of my favourite terminals at Heathrow. We're flying economy today, so no lounge access. Instead, we've based ourselves at one of the many bars and cafes available at T2 today. Our choice today was Pret-a-Manger a light snack and a very nice iced latte, it wasn't long before we made our way to the gate. Most European flights take off from A gates based in the main departure area, with long haul flights departing from the satellite B gates. Our aircraft today was the Delta Alpha India November Golf, a seven year old Airbus A320 Neo. Boarding was organised, and in a few minutes we were on board. Our seats were located on row 24, with myself sitting in seat F. The seats on board this Airbus A320neo is the older Recaro BL3520 NEK seats in a free free layout across the aircraft. Each seat has a width of 17.7 inches and a pitch between 33 and 28 inches. Our row had 28.5, which wasn't too bad. Each seat had a small pocket and a decent sized tray table with a compartment for magazines and safety card. Like with all Airbus A320 models, individual reading lights and vents were available above. It 
it wasn't long before we were pushing back and taxiing to the runway. The flight itself was really good and uneventful really. Within an hour we were already descending into Frankfurt Airport. So this is what we'll probably work out to see 
for what it's like connecting through Frankfurt. It's not got the best reputation. I've already had a look. We're connecting again. Athens flight continuing. Uh, and it looks like that might be delayed as well. So we're going to have a look and uh, hopefully we'll get here. We've got about an hour, which should be okay. But Frankfurt is notorious for uh, getting to connections. So we'll see. So, I'm very quiet at the terminal at the moment, but uh, signs are not great. Uh, the connecting flights just all of a sudden are appearing and then they disappear. But we're back on track, so let's have a look. Connecting flights. Right, so passport control clear. So we did have to go through passport control. We're going to go through customs and then uh, on to the next gate. So far on the ground, about 10, 10 minutes so far. Not too bad. So another security pass now, very poorly signed here, very poorly signed, not great. You can see why it's got such a bad reputation here. Ten minutes to get on the flight, we're starting to cut. We'll see, but I'm going through security now, so I'll see you on the other side. Oh dear, right, update. I it I can see why this airport has got such a bad reputation. It is poor. Transfer experience, I wouldn't recommend it. So we are... Probably 10 minutes to the flight for boarding. And we've had to go through security again. It wasn't signed post at all. Uh, the maze for B-Gate is um, absolutely ridiculous, but we'll see, we'll see. Come on. Alright, update. We made it, made it to the gate. They're boarding right now. Terrible, absolutely terrible. Uh, don't tell you that it's you have to go out of security, you uh, lose everything pretty much all water, no from out of all gone. Anyway, we're boarding, so we're moving on.
Yes, me made it. Just. But the experience itself was not fun at all. In fact, very stressful. Being an aviation lover, I normally get really excited when I'm up this close to a plane. But after experiencing that on the ground, I just wanted to get on that plane and also away from Frankfurt Airport. One thing that really shocked me was how unhelpful and slightly rude the staff were, especially at security. Anyway, we move on. One thing that did catch our attention when boarding was this deer running around the airport. Frankfurt Airport is surrounded by forests, so I suppose this does happen time to time. I found it interesting though, that no one on the ground really was bothered about it. They saw it, but no one tried to stop it or move it away from the plane. It was just allowed to move around the taxiway and the runway. I remember thinking at that time, that's a deer which could really cause a lot of problems if it was in an engine. Oh well, I guess, as the deer made its merry way, we got on to our second aircraft, which was Delta Alpha India Romeo Kilo, a 30-year-old aircraft of an Airbus A321-100. We were greeted by the very friendly Lufthansa crew, and were also greeted with the same seats as our previous flight, but I'll go into a little bit more detail on that next. We would like to commence with the safety features of aircraft and airbus 321. A little while later and we were making our way to the one way, taking off an hour later than originally planned, but finally we were on our way to Athens.
although it was the same seat as our last flight, there was a little more leg room, and this time a coat hook was also available. But given that it was 33 degrees in August, I don't think we would need it today. Wi-Fi was available as well. Lufthansa charged three euros for messaging, but if you are a Miles and More member, you can get that tariff for free. They also have a premium, faster internet for streaming. That's six euros for 90 minutes or eight euros for even more time. In the top pocket, there was a safety card, a flight magazine, including the duty-free magazine, and also the buy on board menu. Oh, and also there was a seat bag. As the sun was setting, I was getting a bit hungry. I went for the tomato and mozzarella sandwich, which was priced at five euros 90. Not the cheapest in the air, but not also the most expensive. The quality was very good, however, the size was on the small side. However, it was still tasty. Even though there's Wi-Fi on board, unlike most American and some European carriers, there's no in-flight entertainment via the Wi-Fi. So if you have a few hours to kill, a little tip and something I always do is download some shows on your tablet or phone before the flight. However, I find myself looking at the very best in-flight entertainment you can get on a flight, and that is the window seat show of the sunset. It is beautiful. It wasn't long before we were descending into Athens with this amazing sunset to view.
Oh dear. Well, um, apologies. The, uh, the camera ran out, so that's why we are now in the room. But I thought before I um, finished off, um, we'd uh, I'd just go through the whole thing with you. Frankfurt Airport. <laughs> we made it. Uh, literally by probably five minutes um, but we made it which is good uh, but it was so confusing really really confusing um, you had to come out of the airport uh, terminal um, and then so we're out of the departure gate uh, and then um, back in through security all of our obviously liquids had to get them rid of because obviously we had planned for the second flight um, to Athens that completely ruined um, staff rude uh, really was surprised about one um, really was surprised about one um, yeah uh, there was a family member of mine who uh, was with us with the party um, and um, they were pretty rude to him um, because you know he was taking his time just trying to sort his stuff out um, yeah they were they, you could clearly tell they were talking behind his back about him which we pulled him up about as well uh, the signage is just so bad there uh, one minute you you see the sign that you need to go and then it's disappears and then you have to walk a little bit further along uh, around a corner and it reappears again um, and there was a lot of people getting lost um, around there so Frankfurt definitely one to avoid if you want my opinion on um, transfers I wouldn't recommend it um, you certainly feel stressed because I certainly did feel stressed um, going through transfer, trying to make sure that we didn't miss the plane. Um, Lufthansa were amazing, got to point that out. The crew was fantastic. Uh, food on board was pretty good as well, um, fairly priced as well. Um, but yeah, it's true what they say about Frankfurt, very much. Um, so that is it pretty much folks, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this review, I hope it is all good and uh, till the next time we'll see you around, bye.